Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I'm very feeling very patriotic today. I guess you can notice I got my red, white, and blue on. And uh, so I'm all ready to talk to you about uh, the presidential election between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Yes, sir, they're the two left one there on the inner to vote for. And uh, they've got the most uh, delegates and uh, super delegates and uh, votes and all that kind of stuff. So them's the two people that you folks have decided that you're going to uh, vote for for President of the United States of America. Now I ain't going to take sides one side or the other uh, because uh, uh, that wouldn't be uh, politically correct or something other like that if it be being uh, all the influence and everything I have on my commentary channel. I might sway people one way or the other, but I want to point out a few things to you uh, before you vote. I want you to think about it and uh, study on it really good, okay? So here's a couple of questions for you to kind of ponder on and think about. Uh, first of all, in general, uh, how do you feel about politicians? Are they truthful? Or are they untruthful? In other words, are they liars? So think about that. You know, just politicians in general, not Hillary nor not Donald Trump. Just think about politicians in general. Okay, that's question number one. And question number two is, do you want to see a change in Washington? Well, hell, if there's anybody out there that don't answer yes to that, I just don't even want them watching my channel. But anyhow, uh, uh, there's the other question for you. All right. Yeah, so, um... Uh, now, what we got here between these two presidential candidates, Mr. Donald Trump and Mr. Hillary, uh, Mrs. Hillary Clinton, I beg your pardon, uh, it's a, a woman there. Um, the, they, we've got uh, two different uh, types of people. Now, Hillary, she's been in the politics for a long time. Her husband, if you don't know, you ought to, has been the president of the United States uh, for a while. And uh, he got devoted two times in there. And uh, Hillary, was, uh, she said she didn't want to be no cup of tea presidential first lady. She wanted to do something, and people didn't like that and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, so, so then she would become a senator and got up there and got some experiences. And then she run the president, and uh, Barack Obama beat her, and she become secretary of state and all that kind of stuff. Now, there's her qualifications now, so she wants you to know that she's there for you and uh, that's what she says and uh, she's going to help you out and all that kind of stuff all right now donald trump on the other hand he's not been in the politics uh he's been funding the politics uh, for many many years he funded the clintons and he funded the bushes and he played both sides of the fence and you got to wonder why uh, think about that did he play both sides of the fence and what he did it for now coming down to the nitty-gritty of all of this the thing I'm thinking about that you really ought to consider before you vote for a president next time around is who's going to be the best candidate. You see, what I've concluded is that Americans, you and me, we like politicians that are liars. The more they lie, the better we like them. And if you look at Hillary, She's lied to her all the time she's been in the office. Her husband lied before her. Oh, I did not have sexual intercourse with that woman. No, he didn't have sexual intercourse. He had oral intercourse. So that he wasn't lying and like that, see. And she ain't no different. She lied all the time, too. And then you got the Donald the Trump. If you don't know by now that Donald Trump has said a bunch of stuff that he can't do, then you need to go off and live in a cave somewhere. That man could sell uh, ice water to the Eskimos. And this is what I'm saying. If I were a salesman today, working in any kind of sales group, and I don't care what it was, I would love to get a, a list of the people who voted for Hillary and the people who voted for Donald Trump because I know them people could be sold anything. So anyhow, that's what I'm thinking. If you, you want another liar, the more they lie, the better you like them, and the more you're going to vote for them. Oh, it's a sad day in America 
But I got my red, white, and blue on, and I'm a patriotic American, and by God, we're going to get through this somehow or another. Yahoo, Jim Bob for president. Jim Bob's out.